Welcome to another BuzzPods video. We hope you enjoy watching our videos and please, if you do enjoy, show your appreciation by subscribing to our channel, please. Thank you. So, today we're going to look at the new Galaxy S4 mobile phone. So it comes uh, delivered in this lovely eco packaging. You can see Gal uh, Samsung are doing their bit for the planet using recyclable materials. Uh, so this video, in this video, we're going to just show you what uh, you need to do when you first receive your new phone, apart from getting really excited and ripping it open and unboxing it. So here we have a black mist version of the Galaxy S4. It still has the uh, plastic cover that it comes with. So this is a black mist version. Um, from the back, you can see it has this kind of carbon fiber look to it although it's quite plasticky. So, uh, unlike the HTC One, which has the memory and the battery built in and all you need to do is add the SIM card, the Samsung allows the owner the flexibility of adding their own SD card to expand the memory that's already built in. In this case, 16 gigabytes is already built in um, and also adding their battery, which means if your battery should start deteriorating, you can go onto the internet, buy a new one and whack it in and away you go. So when you first get your phone, none of these pieces are uh, already inserted in the, in the phone. So the first thing you need to do is open up your phone to get these in. So if we turn over, you can see here, there's a little slot, just big enough for a fingernail on the, over on the right hand side. So what you do, you just put your fingernail in and you pop it out and you can hear it you know it unclips and then just run your finger down the side to unclip the rest and out it pops and once so you pop it out on one side and you just take it off and here we have the insides of the phone so what we can see here is we have the battery compartment space uh, the micro SD slot and the sim card slot so what we'll do we'll go ahead and uh, Firstly, put in our uh, 16 gigabyte class six Samsung card here. And it's quite a nice feature. It is very, very easy to, to put in. Just drop it in there and just slide it in. And as you put it in, it has a reassuring little click feel. So you know it's in. Um, to remove it, you just push it in again and out it pops. And you just slide it out. So we'll put that in very much the same with the SIM card. Uh, again, it has, you slide it in and it clicks in. So in this case, we're using an EE SIM card. So we just slide it in. This is a micro SIM card. So we just slide it in there. So you can see there, we've got it there. And then you just push it in and it clicks. Uh, I'll just put it up to the microphone so you can hear it. So you can see uh, here there a reassuring click and again to get it out you just push it in and out it pops very easy to get in and out so we put that in the next piece i'll just put the phone down uh, is the battery so you have the samsung battery it normally comes with about 50 percent charge um, so you can use it straight out of the box but at some point during the day you'll need to put it on and give it a full charge there's the battery and what we do what you do, you, you have the pins on the battery and you just make sure that they're lined up with the pins there. But if you see there's the pins and so you push it into the pins and in it goes. There you go. So what we'll do, we'll put the back cover back on. And to put the back cover, you just uh, put it on one side and just make sure you slide it in on one side and then you just clip it down on the other side and you're all done. There you go. Just go around to make sure they're all in. It's in at the top. So we'll take the cover off and we'll switch it on. So the on off button is here on the side. So we 
we just depress that and it vibrates and here we are it's come on and there it has its model number the gt10905 very catchy glad they called it the galaxy s4 because gt10905 is a bit of a mouthful and there we go samsung logo notice this cut phone uh, i'm not sure if any of the network providers will brand it but this has come unbranded um, so we select our language we got United Kingdom. Um, luckily, I'm not visually impaired, so um, I don't need to set up the accessibility settings, but I am in the United Kingdom. So click next. And then it asks me to select Wi-Fi networks. So I just uh, select my Wi-Fi network, select it. It needs the pass key. So just put the pass key in. So we can allow the phone to do its thing. Which I imagine it's going to check for any updates. So we say connect. Hopefully, I didn't mistype it and it should connect. And it says connected. So, good news. So, we go next. And we've got automatic day and time. Uh, already ticked, which is using the network provider uh, set it, settings for time and time zone. We're on British summer time here at the moment, so that's all correct. Next, and here we uh, agree to the license terms and conditions. I don't know about you guys, um, you know, if you read them, but um, normally, you know, they're pretty standard, you're not going to get away from them, so that's the user license. But then it has this piece. You agree to provide Samsung the error log data from any software update failure your device experiences. And this will help us improve it. Now, I don't normally like doing that because who knows what other data they're collecting. Essentially, you're giving um, the manufacturer the right to collect data on your usage of the phone. I'd rather not, thank you very much. So I'll say no thanks and next. And here it's saying create a Samsung account. Find your device easily if you lose it. Back up your personal data. Um, I'll skip this for the time being. I won't uh, bore you with setting up an account. So we skip that. It says, do you have a Google account? If you have Gmail, I'll answer yes or no. Um, I'll just say, uh, I do have a Gmail account. So amongst others, so I will type that in. my email address and uh, we will type in the password so it's signing in oh couldn't sign in so what did I type wrong Hopefully I got it right this time. So it's signing in. So it's asking me about Google Play. Do, do I want to insert a credit card? Well, not now, thank you very much. Uh, back up and restore. Use your Google account to back up your app settings backed up by your account. You can change your backup settings at any time. Restore from my Google account to this phone. Keep this, so I won't restore from my Google account uh, to this phone because I want to keep it clean and use Wi-Fi, mobile apps, estimate your location, Google's location service, anonymous will be collected, sent to Google, Google app access, you can get more, when do you see Google apps, you can get Okay, so next, and it's saying just a sec. Oh, yeah. Dropbox. So I've got a 50 gigabyte account for Dropbox for two years. Thank you very nicely. Um, I will skip that for the time being. And here we go. Learn about key new features. SB, allow data exchange when device touches another device. Uh, I won't ask. So I'll switch that off. That's the NFC, near field communications. Um, 
and it has so I'll just switch that off because I don't want to accidentally uh, send information air view um, is that's when you look at it air gesture switch that on not interested in voice control uh, smart state screen stays on as, you, as long as you're looking at it smart pause and you're facing away put that on when your eyes have been we'll try that and optimize the display so there we go so We'll give it a name. So it wants us to name our phones now. So I've given that a name. And thank you. And there we have the home screen. So a number of options, you know, to sift through the uh, variety of things that you may or may not want to turn on or services you may or may not need um, and there we have it it's partly sunny 11 degrees it's picked up the time and then so we should have air gestures on this um, now maybe because i'm not looking at it but if i look at it So you've got the button at the bottom to always get you back to the home screen. Um, so you've got Samsung Hub, forecasts. But if I click that, it gets me back to the home screen. So there are uh, some new uh, features on this. So you have your flipboard. And it's got some air gestures, but what we'll do, we'll show you um, all those features another time. Thank you for watching the video and hopefully this was helpful in setting up and uh, helping you set up your own Galaxy phone. Thanks.